All right, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about how the testing went with S45VN. From my understanding, the PM2 and Para 3 are all going to be S45VN from now on. I don't know if the other golden models are going to follow. I did not, I didn't do any research to look and see. Been super busy lately. But I did get this loaner in and I did do the edge retention testing on it. Not going to talk too much here in the beginning. We'll go ahead and speed through the cutting and I'll come back and talk about how it sharpened, how it's dropped. Because this is a new steel, I did, after one of the tests, strop it and then cut again with it until it would no longer cut paper. So we'll talk about that also. So let's get through that cutting so we can see what everybody wants to see. Now that we saw that cutting, go ahead and talk about how this sharpened. Like I said when I got this, already had the factory edge used, it had been touched up and used some more. So I sharpened it, I used it a little bit, then I went ahead and did my testing sharpenings. Sharpens up pretty easy, no problems, straightforward. It's a lot like, you, you guys know, if you've watched my videos, this S30V, S, S35VN, they all sharpen the same to me. This comes up really nice. No problem sharpening it. This should be something that even for a beginner is pretty simple to sharpen. Had no problems deburring it. Everything went smooth. So, on to the first test. The first test, and this is 15 degrees per side, 1500 grit. On the first test, this cut 155 feet fine edge, 68 feet working edge for a total of 223 feet. Not bad. It's the first time I had used it. This is the best S30V I've found so far, and this is already where this is. Then I sharpened it again and did the confirmation test. On that test, 164 feet fine edge, 71 feet working edge for a total of 235 feet. Pretty good. 
I do have the go ahead. I am going to take this apart. I am able to do Rockwell testing myself now, so I will be testing this to get a hardness. And I also got the go ahead to keep this for a little while and use it so that I can get a good idea of how this uses compared to S30V, S35VN, XHP, all the stuff in this area that I've been using for years. Now I did during one of these, I don't remember which one at this point, I did go ahead and mark my one inch. I stropped it like I normally would for any knife that I use. And then I went back and cut with it until it would no longer cut paper again. And after a test, stropping it back, I got another 107 feet in that one inch section before it would no longer cut paper. Off of the testing, what I can tell so far, this is, this is pretty good. Seems to be a good move for Spyderco. I know CRK is doing it, Spartan, those guys. It seems to be a positive move. I'll know more once I use it for a while. And I think I'm going to, after I use it for a few weeks, I'm going to go ahead and do a polished edge on it and run one more test and see how that compares to the 1500 grit normal testing edge that I put on here. So far, my impressions of it is this is a lot like XHP from what I can tell. To me, it sharpens about the same. The test results are about the same. It actually cut a little more than the XHP on stropping it back. So it'll be interesting to see how, how this is during use and how this is with a polished edge. That's all I have for this one. This is going to be a little bit shorter video. Don't have any more info on it right now. Just the testing. But I will come back with the use and a polished edge. And that's it. Alright guys, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.